Introduction to the Nautilus DMC 2B metal detector. Here we have the latest version, mine, so it's a little bit battered from being used, which has the three piece stem, control box under the arm, and 10 inch concentric coil. Looking at the controls, on the top panel we have six knobs. Top left and right there are two veneer dials. On the left it governs discrimination and this runs from 0 to 100 and at 0 the discrimination is true all metal so you pick up everything. Increasing that you start to reject small bits of iron, bigger bits of iron, foil, pull tabs etc etc. Typically I work somewhere around between 10 to 19. But the knobs allow very precise adjustment and they don't get knocked and move the setting. On the right we have another veneer control knob and this sets ground balance in the normal way that you set a manual ground balance detector. But the veneer no control knob allows very precise adjustment and this is quite crucial when you're operating at high levels of transmit power. Moving down, you see we have two sensitivity controls. The one on the left governs the discrimination channel and the one on the right the all-metal non-motion channel. The right one is typically preset at 9 and I find that suitable for most conditions. The all-metal one is set at 3. The reason for this is to allow accurate target comparisons between the two. Uh, increasing that, you can increase it all the way up. You'll get more depth, but then you'll be in the instance that the all metal channel is outperforming the discrimination channel. But this is still very useful if you're after extremely deep and large objects. Moving down, we have another unusual control knob. This one's transmit power. This one runs from 6 to 44 and that governs the output voltage across the, control, the coil. Typically I run between 30 35, but if it's clean sight then I'll increase it to 44 and get a lot more depth. And on the right we have a threshold control knob and this governs the threshold for the all metal channel. On the back of the control panel we have on off which is self explanatory, a charger for a, when you're using rechargeable batteries so you don't have to take the batteries out, uh, on off for the search loop balance, this is turned on when you adjust the search loop balance and then turned off again. That will become clear when I explain search loop balance. But when you're operating the detector, normally this is off. And then here we have non-motion discrimination and ground reject discrimination. Non-motion discrimination is basically for when you want to search the beach. So you can balance out the salt wet sand. Inland you'll almost certainly be operating it with ground reject discrimination. And there's also a socket for the headphones. There are also some more features on the front panel. We've got two unusual knobs called R and C. These are used to set the search loop balance when the detector's first switched on. And also we have a input socket for the coil. The coil comes with a 10 inch, but you can get a 6, an 8 and a 15 as well. And then a very li useful little switch here, it's the auto tune on or off. And that affects only the all metal channel. Generally I run with auto tune off, on, sorry, uh, as that smooths out the threshold a bit more. Um, if you tune, turn this auto tune off, then the detector is a true all metal detector on the all metal channel, meaning you can leave the coil directly over a target and it won't tune it out at all. There's no slow retuning with that off.
And then finally on the hand grip, there's a red retune button. And this you use when you're in manual tune, i.e. you've got the auto tune turned off and that you can reset the threshold and you can also use it for very quick detunes um, to precisely pinpoint targets.